GFK please I said to the cab driver I said in the yellow cab to the airport it was almost five in the evening finally the movers had left and I had surrendered the key to my Rebecca apartment my new job offer had come through with only one brief call with me as an interview given John's recommendation me said that this was a formality and more a welcome to Hong Kong Human resources sent me a new offer letter. Given the high rents in Hong Kong, they added a housing allowance of sixty thousand dollars a year to my base salary. I had decided to quit and go back to West Delhi with a zero salary. Maybe I would have yielded to my mother's bad dream about getting married. I should have been serving tea and methai and trees to prospective groom. Instead, I had a welcome brochure from the Goldman Asia Pacific Relocation Group in my hand. I might, I might not have love in my life, but I did have Uncle Goldman taking off, taking care of me. The brochure said I would be staying at Shangri-La Hotel in Hong Kong until I found a new apartment. The cab passed the Tweed Courthouse near the Manhattan side entrance to the Brooklyn Bridge. From a distance, I could see the skyscrapers of the financial district. Even though I wanted to get out of New York City at the old years, I felt a tinge of regret. I had become attached to the city at my first, first job, first boyfriend, first independent home, and my first breakup. Could you stop here for a second, please? I said as the cab reached the bridge. The driver slowed down the cab. Can I walk across the bridge? You can meet me on the other side. The entire bridge? That will take you half an hour. I have time. Can I have your number? He gave me a business card with his name and number. I am going to have to keep the meter on, he said, chewing gum. Sure, I'll call you when I reach the other side. I stepped out of the taxi and climbed the steps to the pedestrian walking of the bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge is an old cable stayed from suspension bridge in New York City, completed in 1883. It connects the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn by spanning the East River. Around a mile long, it has a pedestrian walkway in the middle. About the automobile lanes, if you have seen movies set in New York, you would have probably seen Scenic shots of the Brooklyn Bridge. I began my, my walk. The orange colored sky at sunset and Manhattan skyline on my left seemed like the perfect last memory of the city. The peak hour traffic passed below me. I noticed that the bridge with its trusses resembled the Havra Bridge in Kolkata. Inside my heart, Kolkata reminded me of Debu. I had told, told myself to not think of him. That, that's what sex about love. It takes away your control over your thoughts. Any trigger, anything that somehow could be connected back to Debu would spark a fire of memories inside me. I just wanted to last in my last walk in the city to be peaceful. Alas, no such luck. I approached Brooklyn. I wondered if Debu would be home already or if the white ta tattooed girl would be waiting for him. One of his roommates had told Aminash, who, who then told me that the girl was a waitress at Chipotle, a Mexican fast food chain. I didn't ask further. I wondered if he loved her so much that he never thought of me or did he miss me. Focus on the walk. Uh, focus on the walk. Breathe, I told myself. Why doesn't the brain keep missing once in a while? Uh, why can't it just take in the beautiful view? Isn't it the brain's job to figure out the way to avoid such pain? Uh, I, I clicked a few big pictures. I opened my WhatsApp. I don't know why. I did, but I checked the Debu's profile. He had the same picture as always of him posing next to the lake at the Central Park. He was on right. I took a deep breath, typed message, and pressed send. He read my messages but didn't respond. 
I I didn't want him to think I was dating him again. I typed another message. I am leaving New York. You know the most annoying thing in the world when it says typing on WhatsApp, but then the typing vanishes. I have have a cat waiting. They they say what you have to say fast, please. I said it in my hand. Good came in response. Could he be any meaner? So okay. I had barked into his apartment. I even I had even entered his bedroom, but he was mad at me. But did did he realize? That the person he had lived for two years was leaving the city, the country, or even the continent. I meant I am leaving now on my way to an airport. He then did another mean thing he can do on WhatsApp. He sent me a thumbs up smiley. Who made that stupid smiley? What the fuck is that thumbs up supposed to mean? I am moving to Hong Kong. Great, more money for you. I hope. Really, he had to say that. I decided to ignore. So I'm leaving for New York forever. I said. I meant. I love you so much. This is what I have to do to get over you. He didn't respond for a minute. I checked the time. I have to reach the other end soon. I sent him another message to prompt him to respond. Just wanted to let you know. No chance of me bothering you now. I guess. I said. Thank you for that. This way you can achieve your goals, and I can find someone caring. That hurt. That hurt. I put my phone tight to prevent my fingers from typing again. I like to humiliate myself, but I guess I had to set limits on how much. No more. I said to myself. I took a deep breath. The next ten minutes, I felt so stupid. However, it ensured I didn't have a phone on me. For the next few hours, particularly at the airport, of course I could have simply deleted his contact. However, that wouldn't stop me from expecting him to respond or from checking my phone every two minutes. No, I had to toss that humiliation device into the river. People with little emotional self-control make such tra- drastic steps. I resumed my walk towards Brooklyn as I stared. At the wooden pathway, a question crossed across my mind. Damn! How will I reach the cab driver without my phone? I did manage to find the taxi by borrowing a tourist phone and using the card driver gave me. In twenty minutes, we reached JFK Airport, Terminal Seven, please, Cathay Pacific. I said to the driver as we approached the airport driveway. I checked in and waited to board in the Cathay Pacific lounge. Part of me felt glad I had lost my phone. If I didn't, I would be calling Debu right now. I thought about his curt responses. Couldn't he have said all the best, baby? I am sorry it ended this way. He could have said, even sent a let's be in touch. I still care about you. Was I so horrible? Was he so relieved to get rid of me? A pretty Chinese girl in a fitted dress. A red dress came up to me. She offered me a glass of champagne. I declined. I had no reason to celebrate. I looked out of the window as the plane started to taxi for its long sixteen-hour flight. My eyes filled with tears. I felt lo- lost in my luxurious surrounding. Too sad to stay. Too sad to leave. The flight attendant noticed my tears. After the seat belt sign went off, she came to me with a hot towel and tissue. I used the hot towel to wipe my face. The heat felt nice on my skin. Thank you, I said. Would you like to eat anything, ma'am? She said. I shook my head. Maybe just a starter. We also have a lovely carrot and ginger soup. I nodded. She pulled out my tray table and placed a white cloth on it. She took another black napkin and placed it on my lap. She brought me a tray of food. It contained fresh, sh- fresh salad, soup, and brown bread. I had not eaten all day. I finished everything on my tray. Later, she offered a raspberry pudding for dessert. After I ate it all up, she brought me hot peppermint tea. I enjoyed her full attention. Ready for bed? She said. I nodded. She adjusted my seat and converted it into a flat bed. She placed a white sheet and a pillow on it. As I lay down, she dropped a quilt over me. 
I realized something. Rebu wasn't the only one. I also wanted someone like this lady to care, to take care of me. Why can't woman get a wife? I wiped tear from the corner of my right eye. A bit of kajal came away on my finger. I sat down on the leg raise machine. Debo continued to look at me with an apologetic expression. I have not forgotten anything, Debo, but I know I don't need to be reminded of it either. I'm sorry, baby, he said and touched my elbow. I pushed his hand away. I stood up to leave. I need to go. And you have to stop calling me baby. I tried to walk past him. He blocked me. What? I said. Please stay. Listen to me. Please. What's the point? I have literally a hundred people waiting upstairs. My phone rang. See, it is my sister. I said. Tell her you need ten more minutes. What for? I placed a finger on my lips to signal Debu to be quiet and answer the call. Yes, baby. I went to the washroom. No, no. No, not in the room. I'm coming. Give me five minutes. No need to come fetch me. I'll come on my own. I hung up. I saw Debu. His eyes, his dreamy puppy dog eyes continued to look at me. What? I said. I made the biggest mistake of my life, Debu said. It doesn't matter. I said. Even though I said it didn't matter, I, I did feel good inside. At least he finally felt some regret. You were the best thing that happened to me. Seriously, Debu said. Why? The white chick didn't work. Who? That girl? Who was with you when I? No, we tried. There were no intellectual match. Oh, you care about a girl's intellect too now. Of course I do. I always did. That, that is why I liked you. That is why you dumped me. I told you I made a mistake, a big mistake, mo monumental mistake. You said my job wouldn't harden me. What else did you say? You had a vision for the mother of your kids. You wanted me to quit working. I'm sorry. I became a little insecure. Oh, really? Now you realize it. You weren't a little insecure. You were momental, momentally insecure. I, reala I realized my volume had increased. A bodybuilder type. White guy stared at us through his bicep curls. Do you have any idea how much I loved you? I said. He kept quiet, his head down. I noticed the thick curls on his head. I continued. I was ready to quit my job just to make you happy. I, I came to Brooklyn to tell you I would resign. I wanted to propose to you that night. You wanted a simple family. I was game. I even bought a ring. You did? He said, looking up. His eye, eyes wide. I shook my head. All point was, Debu, my family is upstairs. Can I go now? And I suggest you leave Goa soon too. He grabbed my hand. I extracted it almost in reflex. What are you doing, Debu? My would-be in-laws are in this hotel. I know, I just... And then he did something I have never seen him do. He started to cry. Puzzle gym trainers must have been wondering why a grown-up man was crying in their gym even before he had begun to exercise. Don't make a scene, Debu, I said. I tried to remain unaffected, but to see him cry like he chewed me, he fell in, knelt on the floor. Please, baby, please, I beg you, Debu said. I have come all the way from New York. I looked around. The last thing I wanted was anyone noticing us. I held Debu by the shoulders. Get up, please. I pulled him up. Uh, I handed him one of the hand towels kept in the gym. He used it to wipe his face and compose himself. Stop being the victim here, Debu. Remember how you treated me. You would not take my calls. You were rude on messages. He nodded his head vigorously. You were, you were. I searched for the right word. An asshole, yes, he said. Good. So now you are doing these tears and trips. But how did you treat me earlier? Even on my last day, I still remember you sent me a thumbs up smiley. That's it. I said I'll miss you 10 minutes later. You didn't reply. You did? Yeah. Why didn't you reply? I tossed my phone in the river. What? I shook my head and threw my hands up.
no point digging up the past why not after you i tried to be with several people i dated or the girls nobody connected me with me like you did nobody had the complete package of qualities like you you are smart caring and humble you are easy to live with you kept our little apartment so well i still remember how you gave me that surprise party when i got a promotion which girl does that anger filled me i wanted to slap him my eye arm tightened what you want to slap me right do do it i looked around and everybody seemed busy with their own exercises i lifted my hand and slapped him hard across his cheek oh he howled you actually slapped me i flexed my fingers my hand hurt now you tell me all that you couldn't say it earlier i gave you surprise parties yes but how did you react when i got my first bonus like a dig exactly where did your feminism go my feminism didn't go anywhere my masculinity did i told you i felt insecure how can my girl make three times as much as i do so what i work in a bank it pays better you choose your pa- <clears throat> passion advertising why did you have to compare wasn't it all our money my phone rang again that this was my mother by baby two minutes please i cut the call what i said i didn't value you i'm sorry i had to lose you to realize how amazing you were like, like that passenger song let her go i knew that song i had cried to it i wanted to tell him but i didn't i took deep breaths to lo- to not lose it again i had to remain serene for dinner like a good indian wife should be after bhajans well too bad anything else have a safe trip back otherwise i said i have a plan he said plan yes swap the group what i said my ha- hands on on my hip i understand you have your entire family here you can't stop the wedding but i am ready i want to marry you right here in goa i will call my parents from kolkata maybe some close relatives and i cut him short hold on there what did you say we get married right here ask yourself Ra- radhika i am your first love sure i made a mistake but i want to amend it i want you more than anything else in the world so i can get married right now your parents will freak but at least they will know it will it is not a can- cancel wedding the boy said yes they will be upset too but i'll handle it you have really thought it all out i had time on the long flight here i realized i couldn't lose you at any cost on what makes you think i want to marry you because i know deep down you have feelings for me Uh, i i will keep you happy radhika do whatever you want just be with me i sat back on my leg press machine again i covered my face with my palm this wasn't happening no i could not be facing this this is a horrible dream i told myself when i remove my hands from my face they both will be gone however he stood there looking at me like he did years ago when we first fell in love just agree and i'll handle everything else this is not a joke joke people my entire family bridges entire family is here bridges is the person you are getting married to yes i said did i just show that i was considering debu's idea was it just about how to manage family embarrassment now i'm here for you we can go back to how we were remember a tiny apartment of course i said my voice softening my phone rang again they will send search parties for me i'll wait for you will you think about this and let me know debu said i don't know my mind is not working i better go i am in the resort across the road they didn't have rooms here at the marriott i know i said thank god for small mercies